recording is for April 30th, 2012. Uh, today was an inside day. Uh, we were pretty much inside the range of Friday. Um, the volume is very low. Uh, looks to be lowest volume since the 10th. So that's quite a bit of uh, trading that went, went on behind that bar. So, And it also came down and touched this high. Um, so it sit, dropped right into support. So to me, that looks like a no supply bar. Uh, also, to the fact that it's a narrow range is telling telling us that we're probably going to have an expansion of the range sometime. May not be tomorrow, but maybe Wednesday. Uh, I know we have an employment number on Friday, so who knows? It may be quiet all the way up to Friday, but I kind of think something will happen before then. Uh, so looks pretty bullish to me on the daily chart. I would expect probably higher prices if we have a uh, an up close tomorrow. And looking at the 45,000 chart also too, uh, we pulled down right into a support area. We jumped, uh, I guess you can call it the creek. Uh, it was kind of between these two ranges. Uh, I was looking at around 1390 and a quarter and we came down into that area. Uh, the price bars also showed um, narrowing spreads, clustering of closes and shortening of the thrust on these uh, bars. So that looks pretty bullish to me. It looks like a pull back in a bull trend even though we violated this trend channel and we do have some shortening of the thrust in the background I guess there is some danger that we can still go down but I would probably need to see uh, up thrust at the highs here for that or maybe uh, a break below this support area and we come and test it and then we can continue back down so and there is some supply on this wave as, as you can see on the Weiss wave so you know, short side's not completely out of the question either. Maybe it's a 55, 45 weight to the upside versus the downside. So I'm a little more biased to the upside. But uh, it looks pretty good for a long trade. So we had a little discussion tonight on my trades today, which I like to see because I'd like to get feedback from you guys. Um, you know, um, you know I, I did get a good short in the morning. It was a pretty nice setup. Um, as you can see, the structure was pretty conducive to it. You know, I, I kind of saw uh, this as a rejection of the Friday highs. Uh, we didn't quite go above them. I like to see an up thrust if we can. But if you look at the, the structure, you know, uh, we broke out of this trend channel. This is a change in behavior and wave structure. We came up, tested it, and got a really strong down wave. So the wave structure was definitely bearish coming into the morning. And, uh, you know, when we broke through this level, uh, this ice level of ice, when we came up and tested it, um, you know, the only thing that was maybe a little worrisome might have been this uh, uh, Weiss wave volume was pretty high. But, you know, it was spread out over a bunch of bars and you could see the closes were kind of clustering around and uh, didn't really seem like an impulsive wave. So when we tested it and we turned down on the Weiss wave, I got short right about here and, um, you know, made new lows. I uh, was getting ready to maybe add on to the position if uh, but I, I never got really a good signal to go add, add to it. Um, I went in and draw, I'm starting to use more reverse trend lines too. And when we came to the reverse trend line and price just couldn't go lower, I was also looking at the tick. Um, and tick wasn't going down at all with the sell off. So I was saying, ah, three, almost four points. That's a pretty good trade. Um, and it was also coming into that support area we talked about. I think my target probably would have been 13, uh, 1390 and a quarter or so came awfully close to my target so I didn't really want to risk losing that profit so I just took my took took the trade it had enough I had two or three things going against it at that point so uh, it was a good thing because popped right back up close to where I got into it uh, we came down and tested and this is what we were talking about tonight on the forum that this spring that I took and uh I'm starting to learn how to manage my trades better uh, when uh, when you look at the reaction to a signal is pretty important. If you don't get the reaction you're expecting, you should probably get out. And I'm getting better at that. Um, there was a couple of reasons why I got out. You know, I st stuck in it in here when we saw this, this demand come in on the wave, and we had a, a no supply here. Then we had a no demand uh, wave and it turned right back down. At that point, I'm like, okay, if it pops up a little bit, I'm just going to get out. And I got out and took about a quarter loser on it right here. Uh, got out of the trade. And uh, it was a good thing because it bopped around for another, uh, let's see, almost an hour. Uh, when I was in it for almost an hour. And 
came down and did one more spring, and this was actually a, the better of the two, um, and it had the best reaction. As you can see, when you get in a trade, if you want to see it take off pretty quickly. Um, the reason I, I, I like this was, well, one, on the larger time frame, we had um, a major support area that I was looking at from the day before, uh, 13, uh, 90 and a quarter. We had shortening of the thrust in the background. We had a potential change in wave structure. Usually, uh, if you see a big reaction like this, we come down and test it one more time before we go up. That's a nice uh, type of spring setup. And we had violated this trend channel as well. And we were sitting on support, so there's a lot of good things for it. So uh, Mad Life mentioned that maybe it was just it wasn't necessarily a bad one to take, but just sometimes they don't all work out. And I tend to agree with him and David. So I, I think it was just one of those things. Um, but, you know, hey, two trades, not too bad. Uh, only losing a quarter on one. Wish I could do that every day. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. Maybe uh, I'm kind of thinking we're going to go up. It looks to me that this is a nice spring off this bottom. Uh, I'm going to look for pullbacks maybe if we, as long as the wave structure looks good tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully we get some good trading. Maybe we can bust out of this this range and have a really good rally tomorrow. Uh, and I know we have a lot of economic numbers coming out. Uh, here's econoday.com and it's pretty cool. I was talking about my last video blog, uh, post, but they, they, they actually give stars next to each number to give you an indication of how much the, the, they tend to influence the market. So red star is the most influential, yellow is the second most influential. If there's nothing in front of it, it tends not to always really affect it. However, I do notice when the Fed speaks, they don't put a red uh, the Fed governor speaks, they don't, any of the governors speak, they don't put a red dot uh, or star next to it. And sometimes I find they, they do move things. So that's not always super reliable, but it's nice to kind of glance and gives you an idea. You know, tomorrow we have ISM manufacturing during the market hours, which I like those numbers the best because uh, we can actually participate in those. I tend not to be an early riser on the West Coast. So we do have some numbers tomorrow. Um, and we actually have... Uh, you know, numbers pretty much throughout the whole week, so and especially the employment situation. So hopefully uh, we get some activity tomorrow. And keep comments coming in. Let me know if you notice things I miss, because uh, I'm definitely missed trades. I, like obviously this spring, I didn't didn't really see it happening while it was happening live. You know, it's it's kind of hard to sometimes see things clearly on the front edge of the market when you're dealing with emotions. And uh, for me sitting on a trade for an hour and not going anywhere just tends to rack my nerves. So I tend to be spent by the time this happens. And this is where all the opportunity was. I was actually thinking if we had a solid rally today, I really wanted to hold on to it for a you know overnight trade to test the highs on Friday. So, and uh, this would have been a good one to get into. I think I probably would put my stop at flat if I was in it at this point and maybe check on it periodically in the night and uh, maybe roll my stop up as a, if it really takes off. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope you all have good trading tomorrow.